see here and in one thing highlighted here. First of all, I apologize for my attire. I did it feel awkward. Uh, alam nyo, hindi po ako makapag-wisa unless I'm wearing leather black shoes. But this is a very uh, out of the ordinary situation. For the first time, I'm wearing leather shoes. I'm not saying the mask, so, but anyway. Even uh, not wearing socks, I cannot wear, I cannot celebrate mass if I'm not wearing socks. But I know some of my brother, please, uh, they, they celebrate mass sometimes. Yeah. Even without the casa, it's a shirt underneath the chasta. But nonetheless, so essentially, I know you understand. Probably tomorrow I will also be wearing uh, rubber shoes for the class. So uh, we remember in this place the birth of Jesus, Christmas. And the birth of Jesus, among other things, is the fulfillment of the promise of God. We are not surprised that God keeps His promise. We are not surprised by that because God, we know, is faithful. But there are three things I invite each of us to focus on that actually we should be surprised. God promised a Savior right after the fall in Genesis. Our first parents is to God. But the first good news was announced there when God told the woman, uh, your son and the son of the servant will be enemies to each other. You will crush, he will crush his head, and he will strike his foot. That is the uh, first announcement of the gospel. So, God promised to send us a Savior. We are not surprised that he kept his promise because we know God is faithful. But first, we know that when he would fulfill the promise. The Savior he would send would no less than be his son. Wala naman siya sinabi. Ang sabi niya lang, I will send the Savior, born of a woman. Your son, woman, and her son, and the son of the serpent will be enemies to each other. The son of the woman will crush the serpent's head. And the serpent will strike his heel. But there was no mentioning that I will send my son to save you. No, no, no. Nay, na yon. We we reflect uh, backward. We are so surprised that when God fulfilled His promise, the Savior He sent was His own son. Ko ako si God, hindi ko kada na si people, kaya na si people that my biological son. Kung kayo si God dito roli. I doubt that Padad na niyo si Jun Jun, kahit pa gusto ni Jun Jun. Because if you were God, you know what would happen to him. Ah, here. Ang silent night. Ah, here. Holy night. Ah, here. Oh, holy night. But we know the whole story. We know how this will go. Let us not over-romanticize Christmas. That's the problem with us. We over-romanticize Christmas that we value less the resurrection when the resurrection is in fact more important than Christmas. Because if Jesus was born but he did not rise to life again, he really doesn't faith. But nonetheless, God did not tell his people that the son that the Savior would send would be no less than his son. Kaya gulat na gulat tayo, ginula tayo na Despite the fact that alam niya yung mangyayari, gagawin ng taos, talagang pinaubaya, pinagkaloob, let go si God the Father in Jesus. The second thing that should surprise us is, okay, pinagdala na sa atin ang anak niya. Pero, hindi ba pwede dumating na lang na malaki na? Like a superhero from the heavens? Hindi ba pwedeng lumilipad, dumating siya sa paper? But no, he came as a helpless, feeble, fragile baby. Like you and I when we were babies. Can you, al alam niyo kung i-reflect -re natin yan, we won't have enough time. And we cannot unfathom that very great and deep mystery. Ang gumawa ng tao, hindi lang ng king tao, Natutong magpakatao. Jesus. 
That's why unless God gives you the feet, you will not believe. Ginulat na tayo ng Diyos na padadala niya pa ng maniligtas ang sarili niya pala. Ginulat niya pa tayo na dadating pala yung anak niya in the normal way. God is little. Pinatete. I suppose pinalitan ng lampi ni Mama Mary. I suppose nabubo siya sa lampi. Nilinis ang bam. Tiniklahan ng God, tapos feels to God, every chance na lang ko ko, di ba? Kasi nandila siya ko ng mga ito. Sinipon. Ang baby, pag sinipon, baby, hindi mo matanong kung anong masakit sa kanya. Di ba? Mami, no? At ang natutunan ko, doon hindi ko ito ginawa kay Pipo. Di ba? May sipon, hindi niya masinga. Sisip-sipin ng nanay mo yun. Ginawa mo ba yung kinis? Sa ako ang tayo niya. Ngayon din. Pero gano'n. Kasi si Pipo, sip-sip mo father. Ako na lang mami, sabi ko. Iba pala. So God went through that. God went through that. And so first, it was his son. How? Second, he could have appeared a grown-up man already. And yet, He went through the normal process. God is so little. God is so small in the name of Jesus. And the third is, while He remained God, we were so surprised because we thought He would just save us by the flick of His finger, di ba? Okay, kahit na lahat pa ng kasalanan ng buong mundo, pag gumayan si Diyos, sabi ng Diyos, pag finlick ko yung finger ko, cleanse na kayo, save na kayo, wala na kasalanan. Jesus. Pero kaya gawin niya ni Jesus, di ba? But then, He did not only remain God, but He became human. Kamukha niya pala ang Diyos. Kamukha ko. Kamukha niyo. Not facially, but in our nature. He shared in our nature. And that is precisely how He saved us. Kasi quite often when we ask people, how did Jesus save you? By dying on the cross. Ah, wait, that is only part of it. Jesus started saving us here in Bethlehem. In fact, in Nazareth, the moment he was conceived in the womb of Mama Mary, every moment in the life of Jesus was a saving moment for us. He did not save us only there on Calvary. That was the crowning moment. All the moments led to that. But even as a fetus, He was saving us. When He was born down there, He was saving us. When He was a little baby, a little infant, a toddler, a young boy, a young dad, a man, He was every moment. And everything that Jesus did was salvific for us. Lahat ng ginawa niya, nakalilig na sa atin. That is how Jesus saved us. And the crowning of that was in the cross. Why? Because Jesus saved us by sharing in our nature. Niligtas tayo ni Jesus sa pamamagitan po ng pakikibahagi niya sa ating kalikasan. Naging tao siya. Totoong tao. Nakibahagi siya sa ating pagkatao para makabahagi tayo sa kanyang pagkatos. Palagi po natin siya sabi, Our God is a God of Surprise? Yes. Nani na kayo na surprise? Parang pag-ug na kayo. Our God is the God of surprises. And these are the three things God surprised us about on Christmas Day. That He would send no less than His Son. That His Son would be so little. God would be so small. And that His Son would become human like us. Now it is our time to surprise God. Gusto ko po sana tanongin sa isa sa inyo. How will you surprise God? How will you surprise God? But I, don't, I know we don't have enough time for that. But in the, the short silence before we proceed to the offertory, can we think of a way we can surprise God? Whatever way. Don't promise Him anything too big, which in the end, you won't be able to fulfill anything. Any small act of love for God. God surprised us 
with this beautiful surprise called Christmas. We pray that we may surprise Him too in our own small but very loving way.